It should only take a few seconds for your report to generate a link here at the bottom. This link will show you the report type, the timestamp, the date of when the report was ran, and the organization. When you click on the link here, it will download depending on what browser you're using. It may um, download at the bottom of your screen or at the top. And once it is completely downloaded, you'll open up the file and be sure to, enab to enable editing to see all the tab information. So here you can see I have enable editing at the top for my ledger report. I select the button to remove that restriction. And here I can navigate between the different tabs. You have an FOUO tab, an instructions tab that walks you through the pivot tables that have been created, how to filter, how to remove fields, how to add fields, etc. And then for this particular report, we have ledger information, budget data, WBS data, and then it just displays the filters that you set when you ran the report. With each of the tabs that you are presented with, no matter on what report you choose, you can update the pivot tables as needed to be able to show your leadership the information that they want to see. You can come back to that report area of CSPT, select a different report, you can always change or keep your filters, and when you run that report, it will also produce a link to the report at the bottom of your page. And that's how you download reports from CSBT.